Howarth, Collado, Wozniak, Roxon, Keane, Cashmore, Shu, and Haas. First to be introduced, swimming in lane eight, is Costa Rican swimmer, just 16 years old, Camila Haas Akiros after a 139.39 in qualifying. The key to Howarth of New Zealand, the 17 year old, gold in the 200 IM, bronze in the 50 fly. She goes in lane one in what is not one of her stronger events, it must be mentioned. But she's got a strong start and might be buoyed by her performances already here. Going in lane seven, Xu Jialing, only 14 years old, third in the 400 free, fourth in the 200 IM, fifth in the 100 free. Joana Calado of Portugal goes in lane two, fifth in 2008. She lives and trains in Manchester alongside many of the great British para swimmers. Speaking of great British swimmers, Claire Cashmore, bronze in 2008, silver in 2012. Claire Bear, as she's known to her teammates, Claire Cashmore goes in lane six. Paulina Wozniak. Her second of three events, didn't make the 200 IM final, the bronze medalist in 2012, silver medalist in 2008, aiming for a third successive podium in this event. For Ireland, Team Ellen, Ellen Keane has family support, the 21-year-old bronze of the World Championships back in Montreal, 2013. And speaking of Canada, it is Katarina Roxon who is quickest to qualify. Bronze at the 2015 World Championships. She was only fifth in the 2012 finals, Katarina Roxon. But she is swimming in her strongest stroke and currently holds four Canadian records, including all three breaststroke records. Her dad is a swimming coach and she has improved drastically in recent years. She's got a fine kick in the pool. And Roxon wanting to capture this Paralympic title. She'll have plenty competition from the likes of Keane and Cashmore and Wozniak. Cashmore in particular. She desperately wants to go one up after Silvers at London and at the last World Championships. Roxon who took gold behind Cashmore in Glasgow, looking to contend with the quickest times in the world this year. Howarth, Collado, Wozniak, Roxon, Keane, Cashmore, Shu, and Hasa Kiros as they get underway. Going in lane six, it is Cashmore who gets off to the best of the starts. First to break water though is Roxon and quickly into her stroke. Ellen Keane alongside her in lane five is not allowing her to get away. But absolutely flying out here is Cashmore going in lane six. Well, this she regards perhaps as her favorite event but somebody who is desperate for the gold medal in this event with the uh, world record holder not eligible to compete. But the comeback from Roxon, not quite complete, but she's certainly launching a little bit of a fight back as they edge towards the 50. Roxon is surging towards the wall. I suspect she's conserved just a little in that first 25 metres, but Cashmore has had a brilliant first 50. Touches in at 32. 37.02. She's holding off the challenge from Roxon at this stage, but Roxon is coming at her. And don't forget Keane, who's sandwiched in between the two leaders at the moment, but now it's almost level between Cashmore and Roxon. It's down to Roxon and Cashmore. They are an off the world record time, certainly, but Roxon wants it desperately. Cashmore wants it just as desperately. But I think it's Roxon who's got the stronger finish here. Canada might have yet another medal. It is Roxon who's surging to the front. Cashmore will be denied the goal she does so dearly, dearly desired. Roxon takes gold. Cashmore takes the silver. And indeed, it is Keane of Ireland who medals. A fourth place for Wozniak of Poland. Fifth to Collado of Portugal. Sixth to Shu Charling. Seventh to Howarth of New Zealand and Arsa Kiraj of Costa Rica still to come to the wall, but overcome by the emotion of claiming gold. Roxon, who finished behind Cashmore at the Worlds, is now on top of the world. She's the Paralympic champion, and she cannot believe it. Well, the Irish support 
is superb for Ellen Keane. The Cashmore settling for the silver yet again. But Roxon was the star performer. She might not have led out particularly well. Cashmore set the pace. And while she'll happily take a place on the podium, you sense the disappointment of Cashmore in not claiming gold. But take nothing away from Roxon. She's improved by a good four seconds over this distance in recent years. And she deserved this title. Well, she did, and it was a sluggish first 50 for her. She was almost a full second behind Cashmore at the turn. So she's had a mammoth back end 50, has swum extremely well. And by the 25 meter mark, the two swimmers were neck and neck, and it was difficult to see exactly how it was all going to pan out. But Roxon just had an incredibly strong final 25 and surged towards the wall. And look there, she was no one could touch her. It was, in the end, a very decisive victory. And the emotion of it all. Oh, that's just brilliant, brilliant. Ellen Keane, as a 16-year-old, of course, came sixth in 2008. And now bronze at the 2013 World Championships, bronze at the Paralympic Games of 2016. And the Irish fans are doing a good old jig for Ellen Keane. Cashmore with the silver, Roxon 